going on guys my name is bear witness and today i'm going to be talking to you guys about some of the patch notes that have just come out for season five now i'm absolutely excited about the patch notes and about season five itself and this just made it better so first things first guys i want to talk about how these shotguns actually got a small like a small change now uh shotguns are now going to indicate how many pellets you hit so uh, what I get from this is that when I shoot somebody with a shotgun, instead of seeing one big damage, I'm going to see a bunch of tiny damages instead. So that's pretty cool. That's a cool feature. I think that's something that, you know, it's kind of like a, people are going to be like, oh, that's nice, you know, type of thing. It's not going to be something that's groundbreaking, but, you know. Uh, they also adjusted the shotgun spread patterns to be more consistent with no random variation. So instead of hitting somebody in the leg for like 8 damage or hitting somebody in the head for like 12 damage, you're going to hit them for that flat amount of damage every time. And that's something that we've been asking for for such a long time. And we cannot wait for that to be put into effect because I don't know about you guys, but I hate hitting for low damages with a shotgun. It just doesn't feel right. And I always hate it. And I always end up getting dicked around after it happens because I'm just like, it's like tapping them on the head. Hey! I'm here. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like that. Anyways, so we also move on to a, uh, another small, well, not a, a big change that's actually going to be meta changing. So the uh, the double shotgun, whether you were doing double pump, uh, double heavy, double like our pump attack, that's gone. It's nowhere. It's no longer in effect. The after firing a shotgun, another shotgun cannot be fired for a very short time. So officially, that that meta is going to be dead for a while. And we are going to be full in full swing of the, you know, either the shotgun LMG or the shotgun uh, Tommy gun or the shotgun SMG in general. All of those are going to be something that, you know, you will want to switch to to put out the maximum amount of DPS. But that's enough on the weapon changes. We actually have a brand new vehicle arriving inside of the game with Season 5. So uh, with Season 5... There's going to be a new squad-based vehicle where it is called the ATK, which is the all-terrain cart. This time, you guys will be able to be inside of the cart with your squad, and you guys will be able to um, make sure that you guys can move around as a team. So it's going to be really cool to see people move around as a team, you know, pull up on salty, pull up and tilted, everything like that's going to be awesome. But the cool thing about this is, is, one, you can drift and get a speed boost in this vehicle. Also, the roof acts as a bounce pad so you can theoretically jump off of something onto a car that your teammate just rolled into town and be perfectly fine also there is the fact that when your p passengers in the back when they lean back and push forward uh, on their thumbstick or on your key key bindings in on pc you guys will be able to make the uh, vehicle bounce which is where it gets the all-terrain thing and can, you can bounce it up mountains and such so that's going to be pretty cool also, we have a couple new uh, locations in this one that we got. We kind of all figured that, but, you know. So, we have the Desert Biome, which is actually our only, our only our second biome in Fortnite history. So, right now, we've had the Swamp Biome, and that's kind of the only different difference in the biomes. Now, we've had different trees, but I don't really count that as biomes, necessarily, because it's all the same general type. But now, we have a Desert Biome, so that's going to be pretty cool. We also have new locations, two new locations that have been named so far. Paradise Palms and Lazy Links. So, I don't know exactly where those could be going. I'm assuming Lazy Lo Lo uh, Lonely Lodge is going to be Lazy Links, but I'm not positive. There's also a, a few unnamed point of interest that have, been, that have appeared across the island. But another thing that's also game-changing is the fact that Storm Circles 7, 8, and 9 will now be shifting in random directions. So you have to be careful when you get to those late-game situations, and because in those, you could get caught by the storm based on the fact that you didn't know they were moving. So always catch, try to catch yourself watching the storm when you get to those situations where you're in the final three, or the final four, and maybe even the final, like, you know, you're in the last 1v1. Make sure you guys always pay attention to that. And... One thing before we go, I wanted to say, if you guys weren't able to get your battle passes or your V-Bucks to get the battle pass, or if you guys weren't able to um, get those just yet, then make sure you guys enter my Gleam giveaway below. All you guys have to do is follow my Twitter, my Twitch, and my and sub to my YouTube guys, and that's all you guys have to do to be entered into that giveaway. And I'll be giving that away a week from now. I'll be giving away two battle passes, so I hope you're one of the lucky people that get to have those. Along with that, Thank you guys for checking out the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you thumbs up the video so everybody else can see it as well. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.